Crafts show that helps you explore your right brain and your creative side. So today we're talking about brush lettering. I am absolutely in love with this trend. Uh, again, one of the reasons why I love it is that you really don't need much to start. So I'm just gonna go over some of the basics here and some of the things that I use to do my brush lettering. I actually took a class in uh, Malaysia when I visited last and um, this was the, there was this wonderful shop called Stickery, uh, Stickerific and uh, that's where I took this class and these are the worksheets that they shared with us. You can find a lot of lettering worksheets online. So basically what they are are basically practice sheets for you to uh, do uppercase letters lowercase letters and then what I really liked about this pack was that they added some words so these are all practice sheets and um, you can practice your brush lettering on them um, this was obviously a paid class that I took but you can also find the Tombow lettering practice worksheet pack online and this one is free for you to print out my only advice would be to print it out on good quality paper because your pens will get damaged if you use them on just uh, low quality copy paper. So I'm going to link these worksheets below uh, in my video and on my blog so that you can go ahead and download these. Next up, obviously you need the markers. And again, I use the Tombow markers and I have two blacks over here and one gray. Uh, these come in all sorts of colors and retail for about $3.17 each. Um, I like using black and gray because I do a lot of lettering on watercolored backgrounds. Uh, but that said, you can obviously also go in and do the same with different colors. Uh, another thing that I found at Michael's that I really, really liked uh, was the new Kelly Creates line and it is uh, quite a lot about lettering. Uh, this is their make your mark notepad and it's got really good quality paper that won't damage your pens so this is really really good if you want to practice uh, lettering on your own another one um, another notepad that i picked up again is from kelly creates but this is the tracing paper and this really helps if you want to go over a certain word that you've seen somewhere say if you want to learn how to write this imagine it's you know it's really really good to just take some tracing paper put it on here and then try and copy this out remember lettering or handwriting it improves with practice so all you really need to do is get in a lot of practice and basically these are all the tools that you need nothing more so I'm going to do one short demo I'm going to actually take the tracing paper and they've got a really nice uh, crease over here as you can see uh, makes the pad very easy to use I'm going to take one of uh, my stickerific worksheets this is also a way of uh, getting you know more mileage out of your worksheets if you don't want to actually practice on them um, and you want to use this so now I'm just going to show you again it's all about practice you have to get comfortable with the pen yourself but the basic concept between uh, for brush lettering are these basic strokes so when you come down you press and you get a thick line when you go up it's supposed to be light so you also need slants sometimes and then like that and on the up it's lighter on the up it's lighter and then down for an O it's down and then up down and then up so basically this is all you need to practice these are the basic strokes this is the basic concept uh, when you're coming down, you need to put pressure on your uh, pen nib. When you're going up, it needs to be super light. So let's go ahead and do a couple of words over here. So lightly, then down, then lift, then lift, then down. And 
don't be afraid to lift your pen that's one of the best things i learned at my class is that you don't have to go through the whole thing without lifting your pen you're not going to get the right kind of results if you don't lift your pen so as you can see over here that's pretty good this makes for an incredible hobby if you travel a lot or if you just want to start doing something that's creative and relaxing because this really is very relaxing you don't need a lot of supplies it's not expensive to pursue and it gives you a skill that you can really show off you know from writing invitations to making your own cards and lettering there to your bullet journals and planners i mean lettering um is so useful i really find it very useful and you'll see that in a, just a little bit of time uh, people will start noticing i've had people come up to me and ask me you know how did you letter that beautiful tag that you did for us uh, you know if i send a gift over or anything and again it's just it's super simple it just takes practice and so if you really like something that you've seen say suppose like this and you want to learn how to do something like this it's so easy to just use the tracing paper and figure out where they used a thicker stroke where they used a thinner stroke and again i really like that k so if you're doing something later on supposing you're doing kind you can use a k like that there you go so it's really all about practice uh, these are a few things that i do suggest you get um i didn't know what was ruining my pen so quickly um then i read up on it and i figured out that my i was using cheap copy paper and that is why the nibs for my pens uh were wearing out really quickly so i do suggest that you go and get some lettering paper and tracing paper these were both a great buy because i used my 40% off coupon um you can take an intro workshop lots of crafts and art studios are offering them now but like i showed you it really is as simple as just mastering the basic strokes that i've shown you over here you come down with force you go up very lightly and then it's all about making these transitions over here so if you go ahead and you download the tombo um practice sheets as you can see over here they have all of that information going up going down going up going down and how to replicate all of these letters and again after that it's all about practice so these lettering uh, practice worksheets are free you can go ahead and you can print them on any kind of paper you can use your tracing paper um to i'm just going to show you just put any sheet that you want to practice any letter that you want to practice inside your writing um tracing paper pad and just put it like this and start working uh that will ensure that your pen nibs are not ruined because of the copy paper quality so these are two uh pads from kelly creates this is the imagine and this is the make your mark the make your mark just has good quality paper that is good for doing like finished coats etc and then with brush lettering it's so much fun you can um add watercolor backgrounds you can add doodles you can add watercolor flowers you can add zentangle you can add all sorts of things and you know you can just have this one word or one quote in the center so i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to link down the resources below in this video description and over on my blog where i write a little bit to go with the elevenses with mz episode so do uh, hop on over there and check out uh, my blog post as well and leave me a comment ask me any kinds of questions you want about brush lettering and i'll do my best to answer them and uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till next time